I'm Chelsea from Chelsea Stratton Designs and today I'm here in my mom's sewing studio for the week two video of the Regal Pines Sew Along. So last week, J Saturday, July 29th, I had the introductory brief video going over the Regal Pines Sew Along, but today we get to make the first block, our chain block. And I'll just be going over the steps to make it. You will need the pattern and your fabrics readily available. And we'll just go over how to put that block together. And also, if you are just barely starting these videos, we have linked the Regal Pines pattern in the description of this video, as well as the free PDF for your checklist as well. So let's get started. Okay, so today's video, we are going to be going over the chain blocks and no hard piecing in this. So I think we're just gonna dive right in. Now there's different segments in this block and you'll notice you have the actual chain, but I'm actually going to go over the star first really quick. So if you have your pattern available, we're gonna be on page five we're jumping ahead a little bit because I've, I'm assuming you've done your cutting. And this block segment is just squares and flying geese. So the, we're gonna be going over the flying geese units first. Now you're going to take your background rectangles. Hopefully you can all see that. And you're gonna place your square, your print square, on. Now you're going to have multiple prints of these. I tried to use as many prints from the collection as I could for the stars. And you're going to place your square here and you are going to draw a line corner to corner and you're going to sew directly on that line. And that is going to look like this. I did a video previous, you guys, where I messed that up. I didn't say draw on the line and some people in the comments were like, I think she messed up on that. And I did. So after you've sewn on your drawn line, you're going to trim a quarter inch away. And then after you do that, you're going to press your flying geese out. And that is the first step to getting your flying geese. Don't worry about these smaller pieces, totally doable. Now, after you've done the first part of your flying geese unit, you're just going to repeat it on the opposite side with your square right here, draw the line. So press it open and you get your first flying geese unit. You're going to need four flying geese units for each star unit for the chain block as well. So after you've completed your four units, I'll take these out of the frame for you all. Just like I said, you need four flying geese units. You'll see a good diagram of this in your pattern. I'm gonna lay them out like this. You need your matching print square. And then you're going to need your background squares. And you're just gonna lay it out just like that. And then you're gonna sew rows. So you sew your two background squares. You can see this in your pattern as well to the flying geese unit. You're gonna match that same process on the bottom. And then in the center, you're going to sew your flying geese units to your center square. And then after that, you will sew these sections together to get your, move these really quick. to get your star unit. So like I said, I tried to use as many different prints from the collection for these stars to kind of show them off. And in the Bountiful Blooms quilt, I actually did the center square different print than the outside, but in this quilt, I really liked just doing the squares all the same print. I thought that was really, really cute. So you're gonna need 15 of these as well. But this is not the entirety of the chain block. So we're gonna make the chain sections 
neck. So I'll move this star for now. And something I love about these chains is it is so easy, you guys. You're not just sewing the squares together. We're gonna be making these strip sets to make them. And if you haven't done this before, it is a great way to save time and save fabric. So you'll notice we're still on page five and at the beginning when you cut your fabrics, you cut these strips and you set them aside for your strip sets. And so what you do is you take your green, I used the red stripe and the green stripe throughout the entirety of the chains. And you are going to sew one of your background strips to your green print strip, and then you're going to sew a background strip to your red print strip. Now, for the sake of this video, I cut these, these smaller, actually. I, last night, I cut a bunch of these sections already for my quilt top, but I wanted to be able to kind of show you what the strip set looks like. Yours is obviously going to be a lot longer and you'll have more of them. So you have your strip sets and then once you do, after you've sewn them together, I'll move the green one, is on page five, you can see you need to subcut. I'm actually gonna show you both of them. You need to subcut these in sections. And that is step 15 through 17, I believe. And you're gonna make, you're gonna cut these strip sets and then what you're going to get is sections that look like this. And then you're going to lay them out like this. Do you see that? Ah! Then you have your little chain right here and that way you're not having to sew the green square to the background square, the red print square to the background square and then sew them together. So when you make your strip sets, this does actually save you a lot of time and fabric and it makes them I feel like more perfect so you have your strip sets and after you're done sub cutting them you get the two sections you need to start the chain and it's easy after this then you're just gonna sew these together so that you get this final block this unit and this is a chain unit and you need four chain units in the chain block. So let me show you really quick. I'll set these aside. You are going to have, okay, Billy's gonna have to nod at me if he can see this. So at the end, when you are putting together your final block, you have your background squares. You have four of them. So one, two, three, four. Can you see that, Billy? All right. And then you need your chain blocks. You lay them out just like this. You're gonna have to turn them. And so four background squares for the final chain block, four chain units for the final chain block, and then your star center. And then what we're going to do is we are going to sew just like we did with the star, you're gonna sew them in rows. Chain blocks with your background, the backgrounds with the stars, chains with the background, and then you will sew the three sections together. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go put these together real quick and be right back with this final block. Okay, so I just went and ran to my mom's sewing machine, which by the way, love her sewing machine and her iron. And we put, put the block together and this is your chain block. So this is the very first block that we are gonna be making and you make 15 of these chain blocks. And I keep in the pattern all of these the exact same and then highlight the different prints for the stars in this block and Easy peasy, nothing too crazy with this one. Goes together beautifully. And I hope that you enjoyed getting to take a closer look at how to put these blocks together. 
Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed that video where we went over our first block for the sew along, the chain block. I love that block. It is a lot of fun and some fun tricks and tips as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you are still looking for the pattern, it is linked in the description as well as the PDF that I mentioned at the start of this video. And if you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you're new here and not subscribed, please subscribe as well. And I hope that you will join me next Saturday, August 12th for the third video where we will be going over the tree block in the Regal Pines quilt. So I can't wait to get started on that next week. Thanks so much for stopping by.